back. Thanks again for joining us. Remember that the bulk of the show today coming to us from KZN Durban. That's where Leanne is standing by to discuss all things nature related, forestry. I know she's standing by with Ella Bella to discuss young people and the role that they play in making sure that uh, some of our natural resources are preserved for future generations. Let's see if Leanne is ready to speak to us now. I know she's had a quite a hectic morning and spoke to a number of uh, stakeholders and role players in this particular uh, arena. We are expecting Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa to officially open proceedings there today. But Leanne will bring us up to speed with the latest there. Leanne, it's over to you once again. Ayanda, thank you very, very much. Yes, indeed, uh, it's a blazing day here in Durban, I have to tell you. It is hot, especially flying in from Joburg, where it was a very chilly weekend. So you can see now things heating up, not in terms of just the temperature, but also people are arriving fast and furiously to attend this very, very first World Forest Congress that's taking place here in Durban, South Africa. Huge issues going to be discussed here at this platform. I think a bit earlier, you may have seen a big banner that Greenpeace had brought with and we're holding up just outside the uh, opening of the uh, the center uh, bringing the attention to uh, the Congo basin and saying that forests are being destroyed there now you can imagine that because this is the first time this is being held in Africa all issues that are affecting the continent are going to come under the spotlight and now that you've got all the eyes and ears of the world here this is one of those things that certainly do need to be addressed and we need to protect our forests I mean they play a significant role in uh, poverty eradication this is through job creation, economic growth, and of course the supply of basic needs to all communities. South African youth are playing their parts in preserving and taking care of the environment, and they're going to be represented very much so here at this 14th World Forest Congress. That's expected to draw over 5,000 delegates from across uh, not only the African continent, but from the world as well. So let's talk to some of the youth that are going to be here. And uh, this morning I'm joined by uh, three of them. Ella Bella, who is the founder of Generation Earth. Always good to see you. Welcome to Morning Thank Live you. again. Thank you. Okay. And then also we've got um, Ilsa Saunders, who is the current Miss Earth South Africa. Lovely to have Thank you, you here. Thank you for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. <laughs> and joining us here, I suppose, I'm not sure if it's adding the beauty into this panel. I think we will take that out. You're handing the, the manliness for us here. Uh, Buyani and Love, who is the chairperson of the Future Leaders Congress. Good to have you. Welcome Thank to you the program much, as well. Thank you very much, Leah. So the youth being represented here, I mean, it's essential. It is essential because we talk about the fact that um, the generation now is handing it over to the youth. Is there enough awareness? Ella, let's start with you. I mean, do you think that we, we are doing enough? Do the youth really care about forests? You know what? The group that we work with, I think, definitely do. Yeah. There are a lot of switched on youth that are concerned not only about their forests, but their environment. And I think, you know, 20 years ago, we were fighting for human rights, equality in South Africa. And now we're fighting for our home. That is what this generation is really fighting for. And I think they are aware of the implications of climate change, deforestation. These are all issues that young people as high school goers of Generation Earth, of the Miss Earths of Africa, are aware and they are involved in the conversation. Not only involved in the conversation, but they're on the grassroots level, planting trees, being aware of how the climate is impacting our natural resources. What made you love it so much? Because, I mean, I know that it's, uh, you know, besides your, your capacity of, of Generation Earth, I mean, you also do so much work with the UN as well. Why? Why are you so passionate about it? You know, it's really something that beats with my heart because it's, it's about our home. And, you know, as a young child, our parents taught us about the environment. Every weekend we were out in the garden doing something, out going to the zoo, supporting the zoo. And I think there are there's quite con a lot of controversy around zoo areas, enclosed uh, wildlife. However, that is where my passion grew because I was able to go and involve myself and, and see that, you know, learn about endangered wildlife, learn about deforestation, afforestation, all these things that I needed to be exposed to. And yeah. platforms like today actually inspire young people to get involved because it's a conversation but it's the individuals that are actually going to create the change. It's true and I think that the the earlier you expose your children to it uh, the more passionate they become about it. I mean I, I can see that from my kids as well. The more you tell them about it the more you show them the more they they get emotionally involved in it. Now I mean that's your role is to be emotionally
increasingly involved with yes. the earth and how we treat the earth and all things that have to do with it. What's, what's it been like for you? Because, I mean, I know that you've been doing it for this year and obviously having a big representation here. Being Miss Earth in South Africa, how's it been so far? It is for me an absolute honor to be a spokesperson for Miss Earth South Africa and to be a great ambassador. It is important and it's for me a happy challenge to inspire the youth to think green and to not only be think green but to green with their hands as well. So yeah. it's been an amazing experience and I still continue to inspire people to do that. The, the youth should realize that there is problems that we need to address and it starts with us and if we can take hands and collectively build to us a better future it will help and I think it definitely is in our hands now. We are the future so we need to take it on. Yeah, It is. It's so important and I mean I, th I think sometimes we downplay how important it is. I mean Boyani let's bring you into the conversation here and let's talk a little bit more about you know the future leaders of change uh, what you are the chairperson of yes. what do you do what does the organization actually oh, do oh Leanne thank you very much for having me the future leaders of change is an organization an unprofit organization based in Devon uh, we deal with the mitigation and adaptation of climate change so planting of trees falls under the mitigation side uh, of our project that we do here in Devon and the kind of work that you do, particularly in communities, what is it? How do you how do you work with them? We actually visit schools. Uh, we teach. We bring the government departments and uh, people from the universities to make sure that they tell people exactly why it's important to plant trees. Uh, we go to schools, churches, and around communities to make sure that we keep them and green. I know that there's a big focus on the youth and women empowerment at, the, at this particular uh, Congress this year. Are you all going to have a platform to talk, to get up there, to, to interact with the leaders? Do you know? I hope so. And when they have questions and answers, it's going to be from the youth. Good. Because we need to make sure that even if um, we're standing up and we're asking a question, we need to be heard. Yeah. And it's, it's women issues, it's youth issues. And, you know, with 1.6 billion people dependent on forestries for their livelihood, you know, we need to be creating more of a noise. Yes, and it's yes. going to come from the youth, yes. um, from women. And I think it's important that we are the voice of it. Yeah. I mean, it's already nice to see what's happening outside now. I mean, you the can see buzz. it's a buzz, it's a hub, and, and then a lot of people and a lot of very pertinent issues are being brought up here. And I think that this is just the start of what's going to happen because there are very passionate people out there uh, as to how we are destroying the earth by just things we're doing without perhaps even knowing that we're doing it. And that's and that, things, yes. mm -hmm. it's a change of mindset. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how do we go about changing that mindset? I mean, what do we have to do? How do we as individuals change? What should we be doing? Puyani, tell us. Well, for our, on our side, what we notice really is that people, there's a lot of lack of knowledge. As for an example, climate change is very technical for a person who went to a rural school or never went to school. So what we do is we try and simplify so that people can understand that it actually affects everyone, even whether you know about it or you don't know about it. So as a future leaders of change, that's what we do. We go to school to communities and just simplify climate change so that they can understand exactly and how it affects all of us. Mm. That's what we do as a future leaders of change. I mean, how is climate change affecting us? I've, I don't know if it's too complicated to, to get into this, but I mean, uh, from, from what you've done, the work that you've done, the things that you've seen, and I imagine, I mean, you've been with some of the greatest minds that, that are involved in, in trying to keep the planet the way it is and not let it deteriorate. Again, from your side, what do we do? What should we do as normal people? Um, I think that we should start with ourselves and if we all do our bit collectively we can make a big difference. If you take the, um, take yourself and say okay I need to save water or use, uh, use less electricity and, and at least plant a tree a week um, go out, get involved, that's the thing, you need to get involved. There's great platforms like Miss Earth South Africa Generation Earth, the World Forestry Congress that you can join and as well as your platform to join and get in. I think I want to inspire the youth to say listen go out and see what uh, it's out there to get involved and start doing it. Yeah. Um, it's about doing and not actually talking talking about it. Yeah. You travel the world, Elabella. I mean, you see a lot of the interaction from the youth. How, how do the youth in South Africa compare? Do we do enough or not really? You know what? A lot of the time we are looking at adaptation, which are the short-term goals, the things that we've spoken about now. But we also need to get ourselves involved with mitigation. The long-term policy, you know, understanding the policy, 
creating the policy, understanding what is red, you know, the, the, the reduction of emissions, uh, deforestation, you know, all these terms and things, the acronyms that form part yeah. of the United Nations. We need to become so familiar with them that we are not hogged down by the paperwork, but actually by what the message is. And if I may... Yes, you may. <laughs> we, we're used to you doing it. <laughs> it's so important for every single person to look through the green glasses, the yeah. green lenses, because in everything that we do, we take from the environment, be it from the trees, from the energy, the resources that we have. And we're not putting back. We're not enough of us being involved in putting back. And if our hearts are green, our minds can be green, our actions can be green. Yeah. And it's really important to everything that you look at, see how can I reduce, how can I reuse, how can I recycle, and how can I respect the environment? Because without the environment, we as people do not exist. It's not about saving the planet. It's about saving us as human people. Yeah, indeed. And that's that's the reality. Well, listen, all of you, I wish you the best of luck being here and representing the youth because um, the youth represent the future of, of, of our country. And that's what's so important. So thank you for being with us. Good luck with it. Ilsa Sondo, who is Miss Earth South Africa, the current Miss Earth. Uh, also with her is Ella Bella, the founder of Generation Earth and the educational officer of the Miss Earth South Africa Leadership Program. And then finally, Boyani Nglovo, Jeperson of the Future Leaders of Change. Thanks so much to all of you. Thank you, Thank you so much.